Hello, Sean Atwood here, activist in London. Today, September 6th, is the one year anniversary of Ken Kratt sending Stephen Avery a letter in prison asking Stephen to help Kratt with his book. On this anniversary, I'm going to celebrate by sending Ken Kratt a letter asking him to contribute to my book. Here it is, I'm going to read it. Title I'm appalled that you frame two innocent people. Dear Mr. Kratz, I reference your letter dated September 6, 2015, wherein you attempted to lure Stephen Avery into admitting guilt to crimes that originated in the depths of your depraved mind, in the greedy hope that Stephen would contribute towards your book, Avery, the case against Stephen Avery and what making a murderer gets wrong. If you are interested in being honest about what happened and finally telling the whole story of how you framed two innocent people, including an intellectually challenged teenager, I'm hoping that you might choose to tell me your story for inclusion in my book, The Framing of Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey by Kratz and Other Miscreants. Unfortunately, it is with an embarrassing narcissism that you have chosen to continue your charade even though anyone with a jot of common sense, with the exception of Nancy Grace, has seen through your pretense and views you with ridicule and contempt, I'm offering you one opportunity to come clean, Ken. For your information, the difference between you and other circus ringleaders from days of old is that they promoted hoaxes before the advent of DNA testing so that people were never privy to the truth. I'm willing to put the truth out there for you, Ken. However, if you're going to continue to lie about what happened in the face of Kathleen Zellner's DNA evidence, I am not interested. If you change your mind and you'd like the opportunity to tell your story someday, please contact me. I am not the douchebag you referred to me as on Facebook. Just be honest with me, Ken. I have your best interests at heart. Just like your buddies Fassbender and Weigart helped Brendan Dassey get back to school and home to watch Wrestlemania. Come clean and bring down all of Manitowoc County with you. You'd better do it soon before they throw you under the bus. An admission of guilt with some feigned tears, remorse, blame shifting to your Xanax addiction and Samuel Barber's adagio for strings playing in the background might help mitigate your prison sentence. If you do ever end up in an orange jumpsuit, Ken, hold on to that soap very carefully. In the event that it slips from your hand in the shower and you must bend over, try to remember the ordeals of your multiple sex pest victims, including the vulnerable women you were meant to serve and protect. Sincerely yours, Sean Atwood, author and activist. Thanks for watching this video, Ken, and everybody else. If anybody's got information to con to, that would like to contribute to my book, contact me. Put my email in the foot of the YouTube video. The proceeds from the book, half of it's going to go to Stephen and Brendan, and the other half is going to go to giving kids and prisoners free books in schools and prisons. Thanks for watching this video. Cheers from London.